What's going on guys, Acid here, and today's video is my actual old presentation that I did for year 12 for unit 4. It's worth 40% and I thought I'd share it with you, mainly because I think it's actually a pretty good speech and I didn't have time to edit part 3 of Trevor Saves the Universe, so I'm sorry about that, but that will come out Monday or Wednesday next week, so make sure to stay around for that and... I'll just let you watch this, and thank you all for watching. Peace. Have you ever watched an episode of your favourite show and wanted to give your own unique opinion on the episode? Let's set a scene. You just finished watching Dr. Phil and thought the people that appeared on the show were really weird and out there. You decided that you want to make a video review of the episode and upload it to the popular video sharing site, YouTube. You used clips you gathered from the internet from the episode to use as background footage or as analysis. You finish creating the video, feel like it's ready so you publish it to YouTube. Oh no, what's this? Sony TV has copyright claimed your video and now is earning all the revenue you generated from your hard work. They are just sitting back earning money by clicking a few buttons. How and why is this allowed to happen? This is allowed to happen due to YouTube's shitty way of operating their copyright claim and report system, most commonly known as a DMCA takedown. These takedowns are to be reserved for illegal content circulating the internet such as pirated movies, music, and other related content. Most recently, these claims have been falsely used by big corporations such as the previously mentioned Sony TV, while also UMG and Universal Studios or even just regular Joes can join in on these crimes. These animals need to be held responsible for these heinous actions. They don't deserve to be called humans. They are knowingly ruining the livelihoods of many creators on the platform. Some of these creators barely make enough to survive as it is, and these creatures are basically stealing food from these creators' mouths. Copyrighted content is allowed to be used for content creation purposes according to fair use, which states, Fair use is a legal doctrine that says you can reuse copyrighted protected material under certain circumstances without getting permission from the original copyright owner. These circumstances include using copyrighted materials for parodies, reviews, analysis, remixes, and similar instances. From a legal perspective, your video is well within your rights to review and critique this Dr. Phil episode. All the way back in 2013, YouTube implemented a new automated content ID feature that scanned the platform for any copyright violations. Now, the problem isn't with the automated system. The system is fairly accurate, but it has its own flaws. Videos are still falsely flagged, but when a video is falsely flagged by the system and is contested by the creator, YouTube review it and remove the strike in the majority of cases. This, however, is not the case with mainly claimed videos by these maleficent corporations. Instead of YouTube reviewing the claim when a content creator contests a false claim, they hand the decision back to those who filed the claim, which basically allows content theft to happen. These slimy, filthy, and disgusting companies mostly don't even review their claim for the second time, as they should. They just stick with their initial decision, whether right or wrong, and claim the video for the thousands of dollars generated by the views. By far the most ridiculous thing about this are these two glaring issues. The first issue being the fact that while the video is in the review process, all the revenue is directed to the claimant rather than the content creator. Most videos garner the majority of their views within a 48 to 72 hour period. Claims happen almost straight away in most cases, and reviews are not finalized until after the 72 hour window. So if a content creator does win a claim, they earn the money generated from the stragglers rather than getting reimbursed with their lost money. That stays with the claimant. The second glaring issue is the fact that none of the claimants who put in false claims get punished for abusing the system. How is that even fair? I say that's complete bullshit. The worst part about all of this is if a content creator contests the decision for a second time and it's quote unquote proven to be a true claim when in reality most uses fall under fair use. The creator is struck with a copyright strike. It's a similar system to baseball. Three strikes and you're gone. Channel terminated. Career ruined. All because of these greedy companies and slack YouTube creator support. Why is no legal action not taken against these companies? It doesn't just end there with the malicious corporations. As I explained before, regular Joes that have a little bit of technical know-how can file false DMCA claims an instance where this occurred was recently this year when two small gaming channels, Obi Raids and Kenzo respectively, were attacked by a user who went by the alias Vengeful Flame. This despicable, vile and sick monster falsely claimed videos on these channels. This monster almost ruined both of these channels. Both were sitting on two copyright strikes from him, and remember, three strikes and you're gone. Vengeful Flame 
threatened a third strike for both these channels if ransoms were not paid to his PayPal. If the creators refused, he would give them another strike, effectively ruining their careers. YouTube dealt with the issue after an uproar occurred on Twitter. Once handled, the YouTube Twitter account issued a tweet in response to Kenzo stating, We confirm that this takedown notice was abusive. The strike on your channel is resolved and the video is reinstated. This is an example of a fraudulent legal request which we have zero tolerance for. So we are also terminating this channel. Honestly, I have a hard time believing that they have a zero tolerance policy for false DMCA claims. If they truly did, 95% of the platform wouldn't be demonetized because of false claims. These malicious claims wouldn't happen nearly as often as they currently do if the claimant would be severely punished if the claim was to be proven false. For a platform such as YouTube who have publicly stated that they care about creators, it's quite disturbing how many companies still get away with these heinous actions. Come on YouTube, it's cool you say you care about us, creators, but why don't you actually show it for once? Time and time again, small and large, niche and mainstream channels get a false claim and nothing is done to either compensate, reimburse or support the countless channels who have grown your company to this size it is currently. It's time for you to step in and deal with the issue, us creators have no chance. However. You just might.